Currently, there is a strike among academic workers at the University of California system. One of the unions seems to have settled, but there are still thousands of workers on strike. These are people who do things like grade papers, act as TAs, adjuncts, things like that. In addition, there was a strike at the New School in New York and a one-day walkout at the New York Times. On the one hand, this tells us something about a resurgent labor movement. That, uh, I think, is something that is very good. But it also tells us something else. The New York Times, the New School, the University of California, these are institutions that are understood in the culture as progressive institutions, as liberal institutions. But even these institutions, at the end of the day, they are powerful institutions that are not progressive on economic matters, that are not progressive on paying people fairly for the work they do. And that is important for understanding the state of politics in the United States, that the real struggle for real redistributive policies, for real progressive economic policies, is going to be much more difficult. And there are many, many more barriers than many on the left and the right realize.